Today, September 10th, we celebrate the feast of St. Nicholas of Tolentino. Born in 1245 in Italy, Nicholas was born in answer to his mother's prayers. Childless and in middle age, she had made a pilgrimage with her husband to the shrine of St. Nicholas of Bari to ask for a son whom she promised to dedicate to God's service. As soon as he was old enough, he was received into the Order of Augustinian Friars. He was ordained in 1271. His preaching, instructions and work in the confessional brought about numerous conversions and his many miracles were responsible for more. Yet, he was careful not to take any credit for these miracles. Say nothing of this, he would insist. Give thanks to God, not to me. I am only a vessel of clay, a poor sinner. He often fasted and performed other works of penance. He spent long hours in prayer. Nicholas's reputation as a saintly man and work of miracles led to many people coming to the monastery of Tolentino. When in 1884, Nicholas was proclaimed patron of the souls in purgatory by Pope Leo XIII. Confirmation was given to a long-standing aspect of devotion toward this friar, which is traced to an event in his own life. On a certain Saturday night, as he lay in bed, Nicholas heard the voice of someone who identified himself as Fra Pellegrino of Osimo, a deceased friar whom Nicholas had known. Fra Pellegrino revealed that he was in purgatory and begged Nicholas to offer mass for him and for other suffering souls so that they might be set free. St. Nicholas had a great love for the holy souls. He would offer mass, pray and do penance for them so they could more quickly enter heaven. During the last years of his life, St. Nicholas was bedridden and suffered grievously. He died surrounded by his community. Nicholas was canonized by Pope Eugene IV in 1446. St. Nicholas of Tolentino, pray for us.